May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. The first lesson this evening comes from the book of 1 Kings, chapter 8. Now when Solomon finished offering all of this prayer and this plea to the Lord, he arose from the altar facing the Lord, where he had knelt with his hands outstretched toward heaven. He stood and blessed all the assembly of Israel with a loud voice. Blessed be the Lord, who has given rest to his people Israel according to all that he has promised. Not one word has failed of all his good promise, which he spoke through his servant Moses. The Lord our God be with us, as he was with our ancestors. May he not leave or abandon us, but incline our hearts to him to walk in all his ways, and to keep his commandments, his statutes, his ordinances, which he commanded to our ancestors. Let these words of mine, with which I pleaded before the Lord, be near to the Lord our God day and night, and may he maintain the cause of his servant and the cause of his people Israel, as each day requires, so that all the peoples of earth may know that the Lord is God, there is no other. Therefore devote yourselves completely to the Lord your God, walking in his statutes and keeping his commandments as at this day. Then the king and all Israel with him offered sacrifice before the Lord. Solomon offered as sacrifices of well-being to the Lord 22,000 oxen and 120,000 sheep. So the king and all the people of Israel dedicated the house of the Lord. The same day the king consecrated the middle of the court that was in front of the house of the Lord. 
For there he offered the burnt offerings and the grain offerings and the fat pieces of the sacrifices of well-being, because the bronze altar that was before the Lord was too small to receive the burnt offerings and the grain offerings and the fat pieces of the sacrifices of well-being. So Solomon held the festival at that time, and all Israel with him, a great assembly, people from Labo Hamath to the Wadi of Egypt, before the Lord our God, seven days. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the third chapter. John writes, The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks about earthly things. The one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, yet no one accepts his testimony. Whoever has accepted his testimony has certified this, that God is true. He whom God has sent speaks the words of God, for he gives the Spirit without measure. The Father loves the Son and has placed all things in his hands. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but must endure God's wrath. The Gospel of the Lord. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it.
great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father, Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thank you. 